Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomo's Biology. Here in this video, we are going to talk about the best books for zoology. What are the best three books for studying zoology? And you know, zoology as a subject contains so many things. But here we are going to talk about classical zoology, where we have classification systems uh, that, for different animals. So that part of the zoology we are talking about, the organ systems of different uh, category of organisms. So the classical part of the zoology books that we are going to talk about the best three books for that. Okay. Now, if you want to prepare the overall uh, biological sciences, then Campbell biology is always there. It's always my favorite book. But for zoology, particularly if you want to go with we go with this integrated principles of a zoology. Uh, this book, Hickman, okay, integrated principles of zoology. So zoology by Hickman, Roberts and Keen. This particular book you can go with. You can choose any particular edition. Uh, recent ed the recent edition is better, but this is the book that we go with. Uh, the best feature is that it is comprehensive and up to date content. Now, the problem with the zoology books that are out there in the market are that the zoology books are very less often updated. Now, the reason is that it's not a molecular based. Uh, it's not a modern uh, sub modern biology subject it's a classical biology subject so the classical biology subjects they need field works and many other things so which are not being updated in most of the books but this book has a very well up to date content it has extensive coverage of animal diversity and this is where the, this book is better over the other books because you know in zoology as i mentioned uh, the topic of research that is more relevant today on zoology is animal diversity it is uh, the conservation biology part and this book well covered that okay detailed illustrations and very clear writing helps you to understand so again the user interface for this book is very good it includes evolutionary perspectives but not in depth but it has the evolutionary perspective uh, to the content uh, to the you know animal classification there uh, their uh, representations are the evolutionary perspective based. Uh, so the topics which are very well explained for which you go with this book Zoology by Hickman is the animal classification and phylogeny, evolutionary process and adaptation, in-depth study of animal anatomy and physiology which is an integral part of classical zoology. Ecology and behavior is very well written in here. So if you just want to read ecology and behavior part for CSRNet, you can go with this book. Comparative zoology of animal group is another very important topic. It's a USP of this book, the comparative zoology of different animal groups. So that is why Hickman zoology is always the all-rounder of the classical zoology. Second best book for zoology, according to me, here comes the Miller's Zoology book. So, Zoology by Stephen Miller and John Harley. Zoology by Miller Harley. This is another book just written as Zoology. An excellent introduction for undergraduate students. If you are just new to Zoology and you want to understand the basic concepts of Zoology, then this is the book that you should be introduced to and not the Hickman book. Because the Hickman book is very good. It emphasizes on comparative understanding comparative uh, differences in different animal groups and also evolutionary perspective which is required as a postgraduate student but as an undergraduate student you need to build up your expectation uh, and in, uh, eagerness to, to learn zoology and this book is very very engaging the writing style of this book by zoology by Stephen Miller and John Harley is a very very engaging it focus on critical thinking and uh, the functional biology part is very very well covered so generally i know many students they just get this book to learn functional biology part okay so you see the animal structure and function functional biology part is very well covered evolution and diversity of animal kingdom is covered cellular process in animals covered behavior reproduction and development is covered so if somebody want to prepare animal behavior uh, which is a part of CSINET syllabus just that topic you can go with the zoology by miller and study the behavior part from this book okay but for undergraduate as an introductory zoology student this book is a gem and the third one that we have here as a zoology book is Animal Diversity book. Now, this is an advanced book again, Magrohill Production, Animal Diversity by Hickman. So again, Hickman is another book, 
that is animal diversity animal diversity book focus on animal diversity and phylogenetic concepts concise and clear explanations colorful illustrations as and again uh, the visuals are out there easy to follow the overview of animal phyla the classification of animal kingdom is best uh, written in this book among the three it's also good in the basic <coughs> zoology book by hickman by but here you have <coughs> but here you will find that concept of overview of major animal phyla even better explained evolution and speciation part ecological relationship between the organisms well ecological interactions part well explained so the part of ecology <clears throat> the advanced ecology the community ecology part is very well explained comparative anatomy and behavior of various animal groups are also very well explained in fact the hickman's book in both the cases they follow comparative anatomy part very seriously they take it very seriously so they have that in both the books but here even more details because it's an advanced book this book is named as animal diversity so the part of classical zoology basics won't be covered here so as a un, uh, as a postgraduate students you can always go with this book for the animal diversity study and this book need to be updated so if you want to get this book get the most updated version of that otherwise uh, you won't get benefit because animal diversity part is being updated every single year okay so these are the three books on zoology that we stated all right so i believe uh, i've already clearly stated the difference between all the three books which topics are well covered in one book more than the other so the usp of the books are clearly explained now it's your choice which book to choose depending upon your requirement but remember this is all my personal preferences if you want to check check out the book the link is there in the description you can click the link and you can see the details hopefully you like this video if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to get more videos like that in future thank you bye